There are a lot of Minecraft speedrun categories, many featuring some of the most heavily contested world records in speedrunning. Occasionally though, I'll stumble upon a category that makes me say, what the hell am I looking at? Whoever added this deserves a promotion. Over the course of this video, I will take you through some of the dumbest and funniest Minecraft speedruns with a dedicated leaderboard on speedrun.com, and as I get further, they will only get dumber. First though, this was me speedrunning Minecraft, but my game was lagging because I had a bunch of tabs running in the background. As truly infuriating as this situation was, I didn't give up hope. Rather, I started running it on the Opera GX browser, and by using the RAM and CPU limiters, I was able to get a noticeable increase in FPS. When I was done speedrunning, I went to find a server to hop on, but none of them seemed appealing, until I heard the news that Opera GX will soon be launching a server that will feature Murder Mystery, Bed Wars, and many other fun game modes. While I anxiously awaited for that, I closed Minecraft, took a look at the background for the browser, found it boring, so by using the easy setup, I made it way better. This was a definite improvement, but then the option for an animated wallpaper crossed my eyes. So there I was, and I wanted some music, so I went to the player tab, saw the option to link my streaming service of choice, and I connected my Spotify. At this point, I was starting to question why the hell I hadn't been using this before. The convenience was just incredible, and that right there is when I spontaneously combusted before waking up from the stream. Oh, hold on, I'm getting told that Opera GX is a real thing? Holy sh**. If you like what you see, download Opera GX from the link in the description, and for more info on the Minecraft server, join their Discord. Thank you Opera GX for sponsoring this video. Alright, onto the dumb speedruns, and to start off, I present to you mining an entire 16 by 16 block chunk down to bedrock. On October 25th, 2021, Dawid Luna loaded into a random seed with a clear goal. He was gonna mine a chunk, it was gonna be the greatest chunk, and he would stop at nothing to achieve his goal. About 30 seconds into the run, he located a massive cave, then set up this contraption to compost biological materials material into bone meal. With that bone meal, he turned nearby blocks into moss, used a hoe to insta break it, and rinsed and repeated until an entire chunk went bye bye. Miraculously, there was no lava at the bottom, and 1 hour, 7 minutes, and 42 seconds after loading into the world, he was done. This beat the former record by 2 minutes, but what if I told you that a chunk could be excavated significantly faster? Enter Aerojello into the scene, and to say that he is a master of the chunk would be an understatement. With two prior records in the minor chunk set see glitchless category under his belt, there was truly no better person suited for the job. After getting bones, TNT, and various other stuff from a desert temple, he made his way to this absolute monstrosity of a cave, dug up some hidden fossils, and crafted it all into bone meal. With over two stacks of the stuff, he got right to work with his hoe, and many broken blocks later, he reached bedrock a mere 7 minutes and 57 seconds after loading into the world. Up next, the high percent category, and if you've watched previous episodes of this series, you may remember me going over the set seed run. Well, as it turns out, the random seed glitchless one is quite the spectacle as well. In this run, Jinx 11 spawned on a desert coast with one goal in mind, get as high as possible, as fast as possible. After gathering the TNT and getting a shit ton of gunpowder from a desert temple, he crafted more TNT, set up a 4x4 square of water, covered everything but the corners in order for it to flow to the center, then prepared for the moment of truth. Once everything was in place, he jumped to his death and landed on pressure plates which set off the TNT, then with the 3 second spawn invincibility, took the opportunity to get launched sky high, reaching Y level 420 in only 3 minutes minutes and 16 seconds. Now, that was truly an inspirational run, but arguably not as prestigious as the build an L% percent world record. As Patches O'Houlihan from the movie Dodgeball once said, if you can dodge a wrench, you can build an L, and that couldn't have been more true when Kaludi loaded into a set seed, lunged forward at this patch of sugarcane, then broke and placed it in the shape of an L. 1.67 seconds was the final time, but given the nature of this category, I figured it was worth mentioning another similar one. Unfortunately, this isn't on speedrun.com, but nonetheless, on January 20th, 22nd, 2022, SkyQ obtained the Obsidian Cock World Record with a time of 3.38 seconds. That brings me to my second favorite spam right click simulator, reach the height limit in Bedrock Edition on a set seed. In this run, Cross Dust speedruns loaded into a seed, mined two logs to be able to craft a sword, broke some nearby bamboo until a ton was in his inventory, then spammed the ever living shit out of this block until there was a 256 high stack of bamboo. 37.3 seconds was the final time. This next category has been relentlessly spammed in the video suggestions channel on my discord server and it goes by the name fish tank percent on february 8th zt29 loaded into a set seed with a nearby mansion and ruined portal and after looting the chest and gathering wood a bucket was crafted a fish was kidnapped and with a nearby lava room a tank was built honestly i'm not sure if i'm more impressed with the fact that this was done in under 25 seconds or the seed itself i swear i can go an entire lifetime loading into seeds doing slash locate mansion and never finding this particular room anyways let's go back to bedrock edition where there is literally 
literally a category called Jeb underscore. In the run, Mr. Tim Tom YT loaded into a set seed with a nearby buried treasure containing 24 iron and a name tag, and another one with a bottle of EXP and 9 more ingots. After splashing the experience for a level and making an anvil, he renamed the name tag to Jeb underscore, found a nearby sheep, and made it colorful. That is an all for the dumb bedrock edition speedruns, and fans of the high percent category might enjoy this one as well. Known as Dank Percent Set Seed, Kaludi loaded into a seed with a nearby ocean exposed stronghold, but for this particular run, it was merely cosmetic. With some kelp, logs, and furnaces, soon enough, nine kelp was being dried, and this nearby blacksmith gave him an iron ingot. After getting flint from a nearby gravel patch, Kaludi made flint and steel, crafted a dried kelp block, and lit it on fire, completing the run in just over 59 seconds. Now, so far, you've only seen runs from Minecraft Bedrock and Java Edition, but believe me when I tell you that things start to get far dumber when we look at some of the other Minecraft games, notably Minecraft Classic. Being the original version of Minecraft from early 2009, needless to say, the potential for creative categories was quite limited, but that didn't stop speedrunners from innovating. In the build a house percent category, the run starts when the player first moves, and it stops once the house is built. In other words, the world record run started when the first button was pressed, and it ended after the first button was pressed. The final time was 1 millisecond, and there are currently 31 people tied for first place. In the reach water category, the run stops when water is reached, pretty self-explanatory. The caveat is that the player can spawn right over water, so yet again, the world record is 1 millisecond, with a 110 way tie for first. My personal favorite of these meme categories is the break dirt percent one. With a spawn facing right into the side of a hill, the runner was able to start and finish the run in one button press, but the best part about this particular category is the amount of people who are tied for the world record. It's not 1, not 2, not 20, not 100, not 500, but 786 world record runs. I'm not sure if that's a speedrun.com record, but it honestly wouldn't surprise me. Moving on from Minecraft Classic, I'd like to direct your attention to the Java Edition Unobtained leaderboards. After my comprehensive one minute analysis of whatever the fuck this is, it seems like it's centered around runs with stuff that is either discontinued in newer versions and or breaks the laws of physics. A perfect example of what I'm talking about comes in the form of the any percent version change category where Fubi loaded into a set seed on beta 1.9 pre-release 3, magically acquired various items, switched versions loaded into the same world, appeared in the end with portal frames, switched to creative mode to get Eyes of Ender, built an end portal, and finished the run in 6.9 seconds. Nice. Yes, this is a real category, and everything you just saw is allowed. Anyways, moving on from whatever the hell that was, I present to you the All Borders category in Minecraft 4K. On what is essentially the school Chromebook version of Minecraft, Rachel underscore Wav loaded into a world, jumped to one corner, then jumped to the other corner in 36.4 seconds. Yeah, not a whole lot to say about this one, but on the topic of school, you would be mistaken if you thought that Minecraft Education Edition wasn't speedrunnable. As a matter of fact, Gib Walrin was able to start a lesson, then answer a question incorrectly in a mere 4.76 seconds. I'm now gonna move on, because this category just hits too close to home. That being said, I proudly present to you the obtained USB charger block setsy glitchless category. In this run, Luminosity spawned right next to a jungle temple, got a log to make a crafting table, looted a chest, and crafted a USB charger block with a final time of 14.8 seconds. What is a USB charger block, you probably just asked? I don't know. This was on the April Fool's leaderboard and it just caught my eye, so yeah, that's a thing. And finally, we've reached the last one in this video, and trust me, I've saved the best for last. This run that you're about to see is absolutely exactly exhilarating, breathtaking, exciting, inspiring, intoxicating, invigorating, rousing, stirring, thrilling, uplifting, and every other synonym listed on thesaurus.com. That's right, it's the Minecraft Pocket Edition Light Click All Items category, and the runner goes by lolkalol22. With lightning fast fingers and some extreme persistence, lolkalol22 was able to click all 25 available items, finishing this brutal speedrun with a time of 4.47 seconds. Are you not entertained? Anyways, that'll do it for this video. Be sure to comment which one of these was your favorite, so I can briefly glance at it before continuing to scroll. The speedrun that I'm about to go over is so fast-paced and ridiculous that this video breaking it down will be multiple times longer than the actual run. 